How's it going everybody? Ryan Dieger here. And to celebrate the release of Machine 2.0, we're going to look at how you can use Massive, which is now included with every copy of Machine, to create white noise uh, sweeps, builds, and breakdowns that you can use to transition uh, to different tempos in your sets or even use it to transition into different genres. So let's take a look. All right, guys, so the first thing you'll notice about the Machine 2 program is that it's got a fresh coat of paint. Uh, it's got a very clean, minimal look. Uh, the audio engine's been completely rebuilt. It's got multi-core support as well, which was much requested by users. Uh, so that makes it really quick for uh, exporting sounds uh, out of machine. So let's get let's get uh, building with Massive here. So first thing we're going to do is go to our sound here and uh, click Add and add in an instance of Massive. And click on the arrow button here. And what Massive is going to do when it first loads up is load the uh, initial preset. And we're going to turn off all these uh, oscillators here. And we just want to leave this noise generator on. So first thing we want to do is turn up the amp. That's going to give us our uh, volume. And then if you hear, it kind of sounds 8-bit here. So I have to turn up this color knob. And that's going to kind of give us our uh, you know, white noise. But first thing we need to do is go to uh, our envelope for our amp, turn the attack down, uh, crank the decay up and the level up, and then uh, turn the release down. So what this is going to do is give us a nice uh, even white noise sound. So again, in the noise uh, generator here, there's white noise, bright noise, uh, a whole selection of stuff. Today we're going to focus on using the uh, bright noise, and feel free to experiment uh, after. So, so it sounds good, but it's it's not really doing anything. So we need to, you know, make some changes to that. So what we're gonna do is add in a uh, a two bar pattern, and we're just gonna drag a single note all the way across this uh, two bar pattern. And now it doesn't matter what uh, note or value it is, the noise generator is going to play the same sound no matter what key or pad you hit. It's always going to sound like that. So let's start to make this interesting by uh, adding some modulation to it. So first thing we probably want to do is turn up the turn up the sound a little bit, the master a little bit here. And then we want to add some movement to it. So we want to give it that sweeping effect. So we're going to do this using Performer. And we're going to click and drag this all the way back. And then we're going to load a different curve. We're going to load a, a rising, rising curve here, a saw. And then we're going to go to sync here. And we'll put this to 4 to 1. So what this means is it's going to take 4 bars for this to rise all the way to the top. That's what's going to give us that uh, build or kind of breakdown. So now we can add this to the filter, which is again going to give us that sweeping sound. And we'll load in the low pass. And make sure you turn up these uh, mixer uh, mixer faders here. So they're all going to this first filter. I'm going to turn up the resonance, give it a bit of crispness. And then put the cut up all the way up so it's open. So it's not doing anything. And we want to give it that sweeping effect, which is what the performer is going to do. So we're going to click on uh, our modulation value here and drag it down. And what that's going to do is, uh, is so you can you can hear it sweeping down. So now if we play this, if we play this uh, two-bar pattern here, so it gives us that nice sweep down. So it sounds good, but it could definitely sound better. Uh, so let's start to add some effects to that. Let's go with the uh, Dimension Expander. Let's turn that up a little bit. Give it a bit more space. And then let's also add a, a reverb to it as well, just to you know, give it a bit more room to um, just a bit of space to work with. And we can we can modulate uh, these effects too to increase as the as the pattern plays. So let's just add this same performer, make it a just make everything kind of consistent. Drag it to the Dimension Expander, click that up. And again, what that's going to do is either build it up or break it down. So if we play this, 
So that reverb probably use a bit more space. Turn that up some more. Turn the dry white up a bit more. And even a little bit more. So now it's important to note too that uh, this this sweeper build can actually be tempo sync. So right now it's synced to 120. So you can set that to any tempo you like, and it's gonna uh, you know sweep according to the tempo. Play it one more time. We can also turn this into a build up too by uh, taking a cut off, turning it to about there, and then taking our uh, our modulation and uh, turning it the opposite direction. So we play that. We turn it up a little bit. That kind of gives us like a sweeping build up. Just close massive, and we've got our. Uh, We've got our pattern here. And all we need to do is uh, click and drag uh, that button here and drag that into Tractor. And what that's going to give us is a one shot uh, effect suite. So let's uh, give that a demo and see how that sounds. Yeah, this one right here goes out to all the babies, mamas, mamas. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed this uh, machine slash massive tutorial and how it can help you uh, transition between different genres and tempos using white noise inside of Tractor. If you really can't wait to give this a go, I'm going to give away the uh, machine project that I used as a free download. Uh, and I'm also going to include a Tractor Remix deck set uh, that has 16 cells filled with different breakdowns and buildups, all that I made using massive. So once again, hope you enjoyed it. Take care and enjoy the new Machine 2.0 update.